On Monday, 42-year-old Adam Canto went away. After a fight with appendicial cancer, the Mexican-American actor, who went from having a prosperous singing career in Mexico to being a leading figure in Hollywood, passed away. In the film Designated Survivor, he played Aaron Shaw, the incoming vice president, opposing Kiefer Sutherland. Canto most recently portrayed a lead role in the first two seasons of the television show The Cleaning Lady. Few people really understood the depth of Dan's spirit. It eternally affected those who saw it, according to a statement from Canto's representatives. So many people will miss him terribly. The Cleaning Lady's network and studio, Fox and WBTV, also issued a statement on Tuesday that said, We are heartbroken to learn of Adam Canto's passing. Since his American premiere in the following over ten years ago, we have been honoured to have him as a member of the Warner Bros. Television and Fox Entertainment families. He is a fantastic actor and a close friend. Most recently, he commanded the screen in The Cleaning Lady, showcasing his range, vulnerability and talent in a compelling performance. We are in deep sorrow together with his wife Stephanie, their kids and other loved ones over this inexplicable loss. Adam will be sorely missed. Many paid their respects to the gifted actor on social media, with one user writing on X, formerly Twitter, my heart goes out to everyone on the Cleaning Lady crew and his family and friends. I had a great time watching him on that show, and I will miss him. Farewell, Adam Canto. Another expressed how the news had absolutely saddened them, saying, This just knocked the breath out of my body. I am in shock and almost passing out. F asterisk. Asterisk, asterisk, cancer, for stealing so many wonderful things at such a young age. Adam Canto, rest in peace. What a wonderful gift. My heart hurts for his family. Dove Emoticon. Another person said, I'm so heartbroken. One of my favorite actors was Aidan Canto. As soon as he appeared on TV as Armand Morales, you fell in love. Absolute irreplaceable aptitude. Canto, who was raised in Texas and is originally from Ciudad Acuna, Coahuila, Mexico, moved to Mexico City at the age of 16 to pursue musical chances. His attention soon turned to acting after he was cast in a major part in the 2013 television series The Following. In a February 2013 interview with Collider, Canto discussed his move into acting, saying, I never said that I wanted to be an actor when I was a kid. I had no idea. I had the idea that I would become a singer and musician. I had been living a significant portion of my life in that manner. However, music in Mexico was simply not thriving. I consequently started acting and quickly developed a love for it. It was incredible. It was a nice location to just rant in safety. After learning that I was capable of doing this, I began to see the potential for it. I could apply everything I've always been interested in to this field. I simply kind of fell into it, and that was fine. Canto talked about wanting to avoid being stereotyped while moving his profession from Mexico to the U.S. back in January 2022. To be honest, I don't know if I had formed a specific strategy to navigate this, he said to Observer at the time. All along, I was just being honest with my colleagues and with myself. Naturally, there were some characters or screenplays that, when I read them, made me say, of course not, no. Since I was raised in northern Mexican culture, I'm aware of when someone is merely making up a reality that is dissimilar from the real one. For this reason, I have remained true to my own honesty. I didn't want to do anything that didn't sound or feel right, and I guess I've been blessed with good opportunities, and I fought for other opportunities that weren't necessarily handed over to me. Canto portrayed criminal Armand Morales opposite Elodie Jung in The Cleaning Lady for the past two years. Despite being unable to take part in the production when it started in December following the end of the strikes, it was rumoured that he was scheduled to appear in season three. 
Canto's most well-known cinematic role is probably that of Sunspot from the 2014 film X-Men, Days of Future Past. Canto took the helm and directed his first short film in 2014. He then made another one in 2020. Canto is survived by his spouse, Stephanie Ann Canto, and his two young offspring, Eve Josephine, age one, and Roman Alder, age three. He uploaded a photo of his lovely family to Instagram on June 19th, 2022, with the message, Happy Father's Day. Mine has been a blessing.